Yo, what's up guys? It's Nathan here and today I want to show you a sound design secret and today we're going to talk about lazy shuffling hi-hats and this is, you know, when I'm in the studio, I'm very lazy because if you watch some of my videos where I'm producing in the studio, some of the stuff, a lot of the stuff doesn't work. I'd say about, I don't know, it really depends on, you know, the state I'm in, but about 30% in a good day, 30% of what I do doesn't work. On a bad day, it goes up to like 60, 80. But because I don't know if things are going to work, I have lazy ways of doing things. Like very quick, instant Bob Ross method ways of just getting that instant result. So today I'm going to show you how to do shuffling hi-hats. These are dope. Once you discover this, you'll never look at hi-hats the same. So let's say we just want, you know, we listen over here on our track. <clears throat> we'll have some hi-hats here. And they're not, you know, they're just doing whatever they're doing right now. Oh, let's listen to that. Okay, so they're not placed on the 16th, but the trick is basically what you do is you just grab some hi-hats and just put them on every 16th note. Then what you do, I think we have a hat doubling up here. Then what you do is you just, so simple, it's amazing. Duplicate those out. And the next thing you do is we'll just remove all these, even though I sort of treated them. This is the most important part. This is going to change the way that you think about hats. Going to change it completely. You're going to tell your friends and you're like, I mastered how to do hi-hats. They're going to be like, what the fuck are you talking to me about? I don't care about music. And then you're going to go cry yourself in a corner because you discovered something cool, but you have nobody to share it with. So... You know, um, what you do is you grab LFO tool. If you don't own LFO tool, I'm sorry. Find something that you can do this with, like volume automation, I guess. Volume automation, yeah. So what we want to do is we want to begin to think of our hi-hats because most people are like, you know, I got to control the velocity of my hi-hats. So they're like, they put the hi-hats in and then they, you know, they go and they turn the volume of that one down and they turn the volume of this one up and then they shorten it because, you know, if it's like, actually, if it's quieter, you shorten it. Because quieter hi-hats don't last as long. You do all that stuff. No. No, 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 no. Big red, black and white sign. That shit don't work. Okay? It's it's too involved. I'm lazy. I don't like that. What we do is we bring up LFO tool. Now, an LFO tool, you just think of it as like, okay, you know, if it's on a quarter, you know that if you're looking here on this thing over here, the first two hi-hats are going to be low in volume because they're being volume automated this is the volume automation of them the last two are going to be higher in volume so to give you an example of that just a just a basic bitch example you'll see how the hi-hats you don't hear the first two and then the last two you hear right and to make that more extreme we'll just make it so you only hear the last hat right so you're going to hear a little bit of that first hat, and I'll, I'll show you some ways that you can work around that, but you're never going to be doing this exact thing, so that won't be an issue. Anyway, so a lot of what I do, a lot of times what I do to just get the basic bitch, just hi-hats that are grooving with like the most minimal amount of effort, is I just take the LFO tool, and you know, I just, I'm like, alright, let's do that, let's pump it, and then we'll just use that. And then let's listen to that in our track dope as fuck it's so simple it's like just grooving right away it's it's so easy you'll feel like you're cheating the system but the whole point of making music is not to sit here nerding about being like oh i just you know modulated like 20 million fucking parameters to get this thing that nobody cares about pointless stuff Keep it lazy, keep it simple, finger paint with sound, have fun. All right. So the other, the other more kind of like advanced version of this, I guess you could do is uh, I don't even do this that much, but what you can do is you can think of this diagram here, each two uh, squares across from left to right, each one represents one of your hi-hats. So if you want to control, just control your hi-hat velocity very quickly, you might have this first hat is loud and then like the second one is like, okay, it's like maybe it's shorter 
and then this one's like a little bit less loud or whatever and then maybe it's like super short and then the last one's just whatever let's listen to that it's probably going to sound horrible but who cares so we can kind of hear what's going on there because that is just that's just weird i don't i don't i didn't like what i got there well actually i'm lazy because i'm lazy and i don't even know if what i'm about to do is going to work i don't want to mess up this tutorial i already gave you the basic bitch you know, just slap an LFO ver thing on there and then you got your pumping hat. Super sick, very simple. Use that trick every day. It, when you want to build like your first layer of hi-hats, just do that. And then if you want to like create a shuffle, what you could do, and this is what I like to do because I like to work with my hats separately. And uh, we'll just take... One of these samples, drag it in there. That's cool. I'm glad that worked the way I wanted. And then you're just like, okay, uh, I need one of these hats to be amplified, you know, to create like a groove. This is another way to create a groove. I'm very lazy. I don't want to like map it all in. I don't know if it's going to work. So I need to have a modular way of deleting my fuck ups. So we just have this little amplifier hi hat, shorten a little bit, maybe even like filter it if we need to. We'll see. Gonna do this the lazy way. <clears throat> and like there you go you have the start of something like pretty cool pretty interesting and needs a little more groove since the groove in this song isn't coming from the hats I wouldn't actually work on this groove in this song but this is just an example to kind of get your get your feet wet just get off the ground get moving past your hats start building the rest of your song because that's more important than like making sure it's perfect that is just an opinion but if you frequently get stuck mixing engineering sound designing and not finishing your tracks the symptoms that are causing or the things that are causing that are things like sound design engineering not having simple bob ross like uh, bob ross level tricks to just be awesome so hopefully that was helpful if you guys like this video please let me know hit that subscribe button below there's some cool things that'll happen when you hit that subscribe button i i've heard confetti just flies out of thin air and maybe a gold will manifest out of thin air too and then you'll be rich and you'll be musical, which will be a great thing. So see you guys around on to the next one.